Hey, citizens of YouTube, welcome to a little more Spider-Man. Just the facts just came on. A straight shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. <laughs> I don't know what it was about. Zombies. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Oh, we're gonna get in trouble, alright. We are trouble. My ears not feel like having an earpiece today. Then again, this is a pretty cheap Thanks, earpiece. Wish me luck. I think this is the one that came with my PS4, okay. Norman's like years on ago. The floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Off limits, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. <laughs> hey, we're all having health emergencies. All four of us. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Yeah, the card's not going for it. There's an invisible wall right there? That sucks. Here we go. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. <laughs> MJ, you're so... <laughs> oh, this is good. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. <laughs> we got a riot on our hands, boys and girls. Just need to get to the door without Whoopsie. being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing... Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Okay, okay, I'm gone. Five by five control. Area clear. I like this thing. Oh, I'm sure you do. Oh, come on. What? That's not even out of limits! Look! It's right there! It's beyond that! It's still... <sighs> Stand by, Control. I heard something. Good boy. Control. Status. I'm sure Sable offers elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. You know, my question is, Peter used a part from a taser. Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. You know that gadget of his that shoots electric stuff? Like, he made that thing with a taser. So, shouldn't it knock people out immediately? If they're wearing that... The light armor? That did it. Norman's clearing out. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. 
This mission kind of goes on forever, it feels like. Penthouse elevator. This is it. I guess the guards cleared out and people Moon forgot that they wanted to go up. Right on cue. <laughs> Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Stupid useless button. It's gonna give away my position. Just like me whispering. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commit. What is this thing? Yeah, I don't know. What could this possibly be from Norman Osborn? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Yeah. Probably weaknesses in Peter's suit at some point. I really wish that they showed what MJ... I, w I wish they went in third person when she was wearing the mask, because that would just look pretty silly. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so drunk? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. <sighs> Alright, um... Where should I go next? I sort of remember, not precisely. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Oh, it's not unused. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry, Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto Pax in Bellow, Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. <laughs> that seems like the kind of thing MJ would do. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. 
Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. I think there's something in this room eventually, but maybe not right now. Or I'm just wrong. I don't know. This apartment is super big, by the way. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Ugh. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. It's kind of interesting how they put like semi photorealistic uh, photographs in the game. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? He was hiding something or another. This is like kinda a cute. sickness. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? I, I can barely see them with all the glare. But, okay. God, come on. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Seeing him with a beard is weird. Weird beard. I like how he just put it down out of spite. <laughs> Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. You know, they call her M or Emily, but that's clearly Ellen DeGeneres. You can't hide from me, Ellen. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Well, it is Harry's room, so what do you think? Take a guess. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. 0718. Was Harry a gamer? Do you play PC games? I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Copy that, Control. We're five by five. Good thing that guard <laughs> that guard can't see through a window, huh? Eh? Oh, hello. Did, did you come from the laundry room? Please don't turn around. Huh? Who's there? Copy. Make it a sweep. Oh. 
This one unfortunately cannot see through walls, which is, you know, understandable. She really shouldn't have supervision like this in the first place, but... Take what I can get, I suppose. That's a lot of them. Hey look, goblin-y masks, what do you know? What a coinky dink eh? I don't remember if I have to take out all these guys, or if I could just, like... Oh, I missed him, did- Ooh, dear. Not good. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... Uh... Not good, not good. This is not good. Go away. Standby control. I heard something. Stay alert. I think we got company. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Yeah, I think any spider fan's gonna know what that's used for. There's Harry and Ellen DeGeneres. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Here's a giant, very inconspicuous thing. Norman Osborn, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath. And are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? Mm. I almost can't believe it. A child's x-ray, but it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. <gasps> Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Sector clear. Continuing patrol. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis, optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kind of makes sense, though. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. It's only like five buildings. It's not that much. At least I don't think. Troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Bravo, bravo, bravo. This minigame is pretty cool, but I feel like it's a bit underutilized. Like, they could have. This thing has a lot of potential. This minigame has a lot of potential, I think. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that. I 
I knew it. Tenthan Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! You saw spiders earlier. Who's there? Might I mention, I knocked a guy unconscious in front of the door like five minutes ago. He appears to have gotten up or disappeared. <laughs> Those faces. High alert. It's like she's constipated. Yeah, just shake off the radioactive spiders. <laughs> We're all good. I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Sector clear. Continuing patrol. I'm probably moving a lot faster than I should be, TBH, but... And again, it's like, I knocked out five or six guards, like, you know, ten minutes ago. What the hell happened to them? Are these the same guys who've woken up, or like... Oh. Oh, bollocks. Um... Control, I heard something. Running a sweep. Look alive. We've got company. Stay alert. Spider Man is still here somewhere. No, sector sweep. Sector's clear. I'm flattered they think I'm Spider Man, but, uh. Nope. You're getting your ass kicked by a girl with a taser. No response. SA 17, check it out. Copy. Need to clear that balcony. Hey! <laughs> Boss, we got her. Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. Yeah, the guards are too stupid to shoot glass. Hey, you ready? Wait, wait, hold better on. get some better it's guards. You're up. You are crazy. You're amazing. I forgot to change my suit this whole time. Damn it, I've been do <laughs> had the same one for like three episodes. Ugh. Oh well. Most of this episode was Mary Jane anyway. 
It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee? And Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. Uh. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. How do you like my goggles? Cutting edge tech. What other suits do we have? No new ones unlocked, but we could turn on that one. <laughs> We'll do that next episode. I think we'll wrap this up early. I have to get that anti serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. All right, and that'll wrap it up for this episode. Next time we will change suits, finally, and uh, go after that helicopter, that cure, blah, blah, blah. Thank you all for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.